one of the questions that, you know, we get a lot and I think people are talking about a lot is, you know, the future of work. I mean, in whatever paradigm we think about this in is whether this is a, a second brain or is it just an augmentation or is it more of an automation or something like that? But do you have a sense about like the future of labor, what, what young people should be studying? Like it is going to fundamentally change the, the job. Yeah. You know, work is just going to look completely different, especially over like 15 or 20 years, yeah. 2040, 2045. If you're, if you're 16 today and you're trying to decide if, whether or not to go to university or what to study, imagining what the world's going to be in 20 years time is I think very, very difficult. Whereas it was possible in the 90s to kind of conceptualize. Like a linear sort of path, yeah. That's right, yeah. The main skill has got to be adaptability and being flexible. Um, like I, I've always thought at school, I never learned enough how to learn. I had to learn to learn in order to keep up with the rote learning. <laughs> right. You know, yeah. whereas I wasn't like taught the skills of like, okay, what is the structure of this knowledge base? So I think being an autodidact is going to be a critical skill and using that to explore new territories rather than thinking I'm going to be a professional X, I'm going to stay as an X and then continue my career path getting promoted through that. That just is not what the world's going to look like in 2045, I don't think.